Hello everyone, this is Pedro Romero reporting on the 2021 VCT NA Stage 3 Challengers Playoffs. I have here with me Nitro of 100 Thieves, who, although they have um, already secured a ticket to Berlin, they lost their upper bracket final series to Sentinels 2-0, thus bringing them down to the lower bracket, where they will await the winner of the Exit versus Envy um, series. Um, Nitro. Um, it was a tough series to play, but first of all, I'd like to know, how are you feeling at this moment? Uh, we're still feeling really good. Um, we just got to touch up a few things here and there, and um, just to, like talk about the maps a little bit for tomorrow against uh, Envy or Exit, fix some mistakes from today. And it's a best of five, I think, so we're going to have to play like every single map, basically. Um, so, you know, just keep talking about the game as a team, and go into the match with some fire tomorrow and hopefully we can win that match tomorrow and then you know I just figure out like what, what seating we are and all this stuff for for Berlin because that's like ultimately the goal, the goal um, moving forward but even so um, I'd like to to crawl back onto that series with Sentinels I mean many people were uh, expecting such a very tight matchup but uh, that didn't exactly pan out the way it did and so um, I'd like to first know um, what, although that first map of split was Sentinel's pick, um, what exactly went wrong for you guys in which that um, first game happened the way it did? Um, I think we were playing very scared and not as confident for whatever reason. Um, and that on that map, obviously you could tell the next map, Haven was a lot cleaner from us because it's one of our most practiced maps and we have like all the protocols on and all that stuff. So I think it was uh, it was more of a mentality thing going into the split game versus Sentinels. We're that was not our game and I think everyone knows that. So um we just need to like figure out what, what it'll take for our to get our mentals on the right track when, next time we play against them or or you know, like whatever team that we think is good because next uh next tournament in Berlin is gonna be hard with all these other teams. So maybe we'll do like a European boot camp to make sure that we have all of our stuff down and get a feel for how other teams play this game and approach it. Already rebuilding the strats in preparations for Berlin. But anyway, in any case, um, you already mentioned it. Um, you guys played a much cleaner game compared to the first one in the second map uh, in Haven. And so um, regardless of the result, what are some aspects that you identified within that second map that that you could like like a uh, cite as a point of like a positive um in order in like in that process of improvement for the for berlin um i think the biggest improvement that we saw was probably just the performance of map one to map two um we know that next time we can't mess that up on them from the first map and maybe maybe have like a better game plan going into it but um it's not really too much to take away from the games, in my opinion. Um, I think it was more like a mentality block going against them. So we need to figure out what's going on there. I've been here before with the Strella, so um, hopefully I can figure something out. <laughs> and we'll see you about that in the future. And so, I mean, of course, we. There, it, I would be remiss if I don't talk about the 100 Thieves qualification for Berlin. And so, I mean, it's already been well documented. Um, the social media team already like, posted a video of the reaction um, upon finishing that semifinal series. And so, I mean, I'd like to know, like, how does it feel for not only you, but also, well, not only the team, but for you personally in securing that ticket to, to Berlin? I'm very excited. Um, you know, since like COVID hit, and the last tournament I was at on land was Katowice in 2020. So that was like March of 2020. So it's been a year and five months since I've been to a land with people. Um, not necessarily a crowd, but just in general. So I'm very, very excited to go back and be able to play on land and meet some of the players and stuff like that. I think it's going to be a great time. I mean, save for Ethan, who, who joined the team during, during this year, um, you've been a part of basically the 100 Thieves' entire um, stint within Valorant as a whole. I mean, you've been a part of that first strike team and then not qualifying for Masters 1 nor 2 and then to now. Um, and so, like, 
how have you seen the team's progress over your entire stint with 100 Thieves in that regard? Uh, I think we've developed a lot as a team. I think we finally figured out how we want to approach the game as a team um, within like the last week, literally. Um, we, we started like talking more about protocols and stuff like that, ironing out all, most of our issues um, in the game and stuff like that. So I think uh, we're, we're feeling very good as a team right now. And it took us a while to figure out like our comps and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just, we need to just keep practicing and keep improving and improving upon our mistakes and stuff like this. So um, those sort of um, problems must have been such a, a very difficult thing to resolve. And so um, what were some of the aspects that, that made it so difficult for that so that you were then able to um, um, figure it out and then play together much and, and play much better than, than before? I think it was just overall philosophy of how each person viewed the game and stuff like that. So... Um, we really like iron out what we want as a team and, and how we want to approach the game. I think that was like the biggest thing. Yes, yes. And so, and so, um, as the, as, as, as a result of the loss, um, you guys now move down to the lower bracket in this playoffs where you will await, um, the winner of that X at NB series. Um, as of right now, we don't know how that series um, finishes. Uh, I think they're still playing, I believe. And so, um, mm -hmm. what do you see of either team um, as you await um, the winner um, in your upcoming series? Um, I think uh, Xset obviously wants revenge on, on our game for them. Um, and then every time we play Envy, it's usually a close game. Um, so. I think uh, regardless of what team we play, it's going to be a very good game for the fans to watch. And um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we just got to show up in the server and, and just do what we do in practice. And I think we'll win. I mean, of course, um, Envy uh, experienced a major upgrade with the um, addition of Ye. And so um, how mm -hmm. does Ye's inclusion into that team um, alter how, how Envy um, plays their 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 style of play i think they i think they finally got a superstar player that they wanted i, th I think mame was a great support player and he would play jet occasionally here and there because he liked to op so he was kind of like i don't know if he wanted to play jet or whatever but like half the time he was on jet and half the time he was on like astro for example it's like the biggest change between like your play style so i think they finally got their last piece of the puzzle that they were looking for in a jet player and uh, so I think from here or here on out, they just got to keep practicing and, and they'll get better. And then, yeah. Just hopefully not as better as, as 100 Thieves, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, that about wraps up all of my questions for this evening slash day. Um, Nitro, thank you so much Sweet. for taking the time to talk to me uh, despite the loss. Um, do you have any final shout outs or any words to say to anyone out there who maybe listening slash viewing this yeah uh just shout out to 100 thieves for allowing us to boot camp and paying for everything and stuff like that and complexity for allowing us to play in their facility and get good ping and all that stuff and obviously the fans all right perfect um i've been pedro romero once again um with that all said i'll see you on the next one take care everyone peace